So ready to button up the top end of your engine? Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to In the Garage. If you remember, in our last episode, we actually installed the heads on our block, checked our valve train, made sure everything was where it was supposed to be, and actually we've gone ahead and installed our valve covers. Very straightforward process with the valve covers. You've got a gasket and valve cover, bolts in four places. Now, if you have a block that center bolts, that means that the valve cover actually bolts to the engine through the center of the heads instead of a perimeter bolt, which is the setup we have here. So we've already installed one of our breathers on one side. We're going to actually install another one on the other side. You've got a couple of different options here. You can go with another crankcase breather or you can do an oil fill cap. Either way is fine. We've just got to, for our setup, we've just decided to do uh, two breathers on our engine. So let me show you the breathers we're using. We'll show you how to prep them and install them. So I wanted to show you a couple of different options you have with your breather. You have your standard uh, crankcase breather like this that does require a grommet if you're going to use it. And the ones we're using are actually the K&N, which has an old filter media, just like with most of the K&N filters, and it has a grommet already built onto it. So we're going to take this out of the case. Um, the part numbers for these will be in the bottom. Obviously with K&N, you always get a decal for your vehicle. Um, this is our old, the instructions are on it. We're going to go ahead and oil this up. What you actually do is you cut the uh, applicator, you run a bead along every ridge on the filter, wait 20 minutes, and then come back and oil it again. So we'll show you that process, get it ready, and put it on our engine. So let's talk about our intake manifold real quick. This is going to be a key decision when you're specking your engine because it is going to be the piece that most of your other components are actually going to mount to that they're going to integrate with your engine. Your carburetor, your distributor, your coolant system. So you're going to make sure that you choose the intake that works press works best for the uh, application that you're going to be doing, what you're building the engine for. Is it going to be a streetable rod or is it going to be a daily driver? Is it going to be a drag machine? The intake is going to be defined by the kind of engine you're building. So what we've actually got, this is an intake manifold by Edelbrock. This is their 7101. This is their Performer RPM setup. It's a square bore. That means that it's, it only accepts square mount uh, carburetor systems on the top. Um, just want to make sure that you know when you're specking out your engine and planning ahead, this is going to be one of those key decisions that's going to be defined by a lot of the decisions you've made before you get here. So let's show you how it installs. Okay, so we've got our crankcase breather properly oiled, and now you can obviously see the difference. The, uh, the cotton media uh, pleats are all filled in with the K&N oil. That's what's going to grab most of the uh, de uh, contaminants or dirt or anything that's going to try and get into the engine. So one thing you're going to make sure you do before you install one of these crankcase breathers is lube the grommet a little bit. We're just using some of the leftover oil from our filter. That just makes it easier to actually install in our block. Now it's ready to go. Should slide right into place and we can move on to the next part of the process. There we go. And like I said before, you can either do a dual breather setup or you can just put an oil cap on one side. It's really up to you. It really doesn't make any huge effect on the engine itself. So now we've, we've gone back to our cylinder head gasket set that we got from Edelbrock. That's the same gaskets that we use for the heads. It also comes with our intake gaskets. We've put a little high tack on the head to help hold the gasket in place. The main thing is to make sure that your gasket lines up with all of the ports. You are going to need to loosen up your valve cover a little bit so that it tucks up underneath where it's supposed to. But again, like I said, the main thing is to make sure all of your bolt holes and your ports line up properly and as you can see that tack is just there to hold that in place while we install the intake itself. Alright, now there's a couple more gaskets uh, to lay in here. 
and then we'll be ready to put the intake in.